and we are going to play some FIFA 21 Palace career solo career with Ivan Tony Man City away first game let's do it Try move to a big one man one. the focus of attention in fantastic form and the top scorer yeah. in the league. Can he add to his tally today yeah. live on EA TV? Yeah. Hello and welcome to the Etihad Stadium. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. And it's all about guys, action um, from the Premier League in this case. I'm just it is Manchester City so up here. against Crystal Palace. So yeah, thanks, Derek. Great atmosphere here. The two I'm sides, I'm sure, will set a quick tiring. tempo in this game. We get to watch for free. The players are chomping at the bit. I can't wait. Don't worry, Tony, is it? And so the starting 11 for it? Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Kevin De Bruyne starts alongside Fernandinho in central midfield. And potentially a real handful in attack today, Sergio Aguero. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. It's a perfect challenge. He's got the right idea with that pass. Surely! That is goalkeeping of the highest order and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about tipping balls over the bar and round the post. It's about being brave and diving at players' feet. What do you well, think you can't you know, watch Premier Kevin De Bruyne and against. not be impressed, Lee. What in particular are you anticipating seeing from the Belgian in this match? Well, yeah, when defenders look who they're playing against, they always look at the goals. Two goals in his last previous game. He's certainly a threat to them today. Stay up, Excellent defending. So for Crystal Palace, just what they wanted. A win last time out against Sheffield United. Yeah, How do you see it going, Lee? Well, it was easy enough last time out. 2-0 away win. Was the win on the cards today? I'm not so sure. I'm going to go for a draw. Well, now they've lost it. Mares. Aguero. De Bruyne in the centre. Well, the keeper certainly didn't want to gamble with that. And a corner it'll be. And firing it into the area. Well, no problems defensively. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball. Fine work from City to win the ball back. De Bruyne still passing it around with authority Martin Hongla well you can tell what the fans think of that decision they're certain it should have been a penalty Van Aanholt and a creative look about this and he's in and a goal now they've broken through 1-0 here well, we can take another look at this now, and he's connected so well with it, generated a lot of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. Look. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? City get things going again, and the onus is on them to erase the damage done by that concession. James MacArthur. Van Anholt. And that puts them in position. Big opportunity. 
but it can't get through. Not oh. far away at all with the volley. No, well, to catch it like that, you've enough. got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. Well, he knows they've missed a golden opportunity to extend the lead there, but they're still in the lead, not all doom and gloom. Good physical play. As you can see, Palace haven't seen the ball too much, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And Sterling has it. Here's Aguero. He was certainly in. The chance was there. But credit has to go to the defender, Lee. Well, part of a defender's job is to put players off doing their job, and that's exactly what they do there. It's a decent effort in the end, but under pressure. Fernandinho. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. There's been a goal in the Chelsea match. Alan McAdally with the details. It's a goal for Chelsea. 39 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. On the offensive. Nice, nice. Well read to win possession nice, back. Nice. Look at Dinia. Sterling has it. Well, fine use of the ball. De Bruyne. Digne. Here's De Bruyne. He got in the way of that cross. Excellent challenge. That is that for the first, the first half, half here. Bucket, sir. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Townsend. On and on he goes. Chance here. Yes. And it goes. That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need Game to keep concentration up, levels up. high. Well, here it is again, and I wonder how he waltzes past the defender so easily. And how strong was he here? Incredible to hold up the defenders and get his shots away. Lovely goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Oh, he won't see a rainbow flip. And news of a goal in the oh, Wolves match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 49 minutes, please. 1-0. Alan McAdally keeping us right up to date. Martin Hongla giving the ball away. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV. And looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Manchester City facing Sheffield. You're coming thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Real. Gabriel Jesus. An effective challenge. Oh. Get. Oh, getting the ball forward. He's in with a chance. It and yeah. it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And then through on goal, you never really had any doubt he was going to slot that away. Good finish. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. 
Well, it's been such a one-sided game. So you just wonder how many the more they could add. Coming off the pitch, Half an hour remaining then. We can go to Alan McAnally now for news of a goal in the Wolves game. Alan. It's a goal for Manchester United. 61 minutes played, 1-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. It might be on for them. Right. Really vital interception here. And the advantage is with City. It yeah, might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Crystal Palace taking on Leicester City. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker. Well, it was a fantastic counter-attack, but a damp squib of a finish. Well, yeah, they sucked the opposition onto him, then hit him with speed. All was good until the final effort. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Martin Hongla. Townsend. Emerson Ooh. had so much work to do. Oh, he did. He did. And didn't he do it well? Well done, boy. And he's fired over the corner. Punched away. High Ooh. degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. And it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down. And he's very, very unlucky. Well, let's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Well, nothing productive, really. Martin Hongla. And the ball with McCarthy. And given away. Mares. Mares. Here's Gabriel Jesus. The defender doing his job. Now can they counter clinically? Will they profit from this situation? And he's broken free. Oh, Not at all problematic for the goalkeeper. Well, no way through. James Tompkins. And a goal at Stamford Bridge, I'm being told. But for which team? Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Chelsea. Nine minutes remain. 2-1. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. And just as well from the defensive point of view that he was able to make that interception. I want to request up. Well, I got 25 up. Well, given that we're in the second half and it has got a bit ugly from the scoreline point of view, what positives can you find, Lee? Opportunity it is. Oh. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, here's the replay. It's a lovely time pass over a static defence and it all leads to a 2v1 on the keeper, which he really doesn't have any chance with. It's a great team goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. It is to be a throw-in. Klein. And the ball with McCarthy. And he did well to cut it out. Promising attack, this. De Bruyne. Now Mares, untidy in possession. Well, the counter chance looks very real. It should be! Oh. And it's come off the keeper! Well, I know and that is that, that, the referee man. blows his whistle for full That's time, going, and right. it's a victory it's for the visitors, Lee. Well, Derek, with a defence like they've got, the forwards should be chomping at the bit in every game. They did the business today, and all in all,
There you go. One point. What have I got Liverpool? Because that will be a game. Twenty four twelve December. Have I paid them? I think I've only lost one game. Yeah, I've lost one game. And drew one game. I lost three two to Fulham and drew one nil with West Ham. That two nil with them don't count so I just send it. But yeah, we've had some good results. Now look at 7-1 away Southampton. 3-0 away Manu. Four, yeah. Got less than our uh, with 51. A warm welcome from the English West Midlands. We find ourselves at Molyneux. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers up against Crystal Palace. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. Moving into the advanced position. Nget. The initial 11 for Wolves. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Johnny starts with Nelson Semedo in the wide defensive areas. And the striker is a man who can be a real handful, Raul Jimenez. And news of a goal at Anfield. Here's Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Liverpool. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Roma Saiz It's with Ruben Neves oh, you've got to pass the ball. Perfectly positioned to take it away oh. Well we like to focus on who might be performing above expectations Crystal Palace you've got to say Fall in that category Lee I don't think anybody expected them to be top at this point, but you can definitely see why they are pretty solid at the back pretty decent up front, their form's they're a really terrific side this season. This is looking threatening. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. 
Real chance. And the keeper had the measure of it. It's a corner. <coughs> Trust me, guys, we need serious FIFA. Pass it about, and then their defence widens up. Which gives you more of an opportunity to score. And firing it into the area. And he clears the danger. And played in. Attending to his defensive chores. An unholt. Right, look, did you see how that gap just wide? Oh. It certainly see wasn't a clean tackle. And the up. referee has got to book him, I think. Because I just made one part. And the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card. Yes, agree with that one, Derek. He's got to be careful now. Long way out there. Oh. And a goal! Bill Almost Bill. bewitching in its beauty! Absolutely Excellent technique! Bill. Well, let's see this again, Derek. I love to watch things of beauty, and this free kick is definitely one of those. It's almost perfect. The technique is everything. That's what deceives the keeper. It's brilliant. The opening goal of the game, then. Goal for Crystal Palace. Number 10, Andres Townsend. Pedro Neto, Johnny. Dendonka. Martin Hongla. Van Anholt. See that when you pass. Martin Hongla. Let him in to get the ball. It might be, and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Ruben Neves. After this game, we'll play some Apex. Jimenez. Martin Hongla. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. James MacArthur. Can he finish? They had to react and did. Dendonka. Jimenez. In behind for him to chase. Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. Couldn't keep it. Pedro Neto. Top notch tackle, Mamadou Sacco. Someone has found the net at Anfield. Who exactly? Oh, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Liverpool. Oh. It's been scored by Roberto Firmino. Oh, the ball came to him fully 30 yards out, and he flicked it up, and in one movement hit an unstoppable volley into the roof of the net. 36 minutes played, 2 0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. And he read it well, intercepting it. We need to slow down. That's a good looking ball. Adama. The cross is on. Palace in terms of Draw. possession have been poor, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Johnny. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. But <coughs> well, I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. Okay. Well, the managers will now deliver their half.
the teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Well, it sounds like a penalty has been awarded in one of the other matches. What can you tell us, Alan McAnally? It's a penalty for Manchester United. He's put the ball down on the spot. Little check. Out Fox, the goalkeeper, drills it in the corner. 47 minutes played. 1-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Chelps. Unable to keep the ball. Throw-ins given. So I just broke Ruben Neves. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits yeah. for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, yeah, yeah. but he's looked very, very lively as well. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Goal. The team is a goal. Just, just it's a good Wolves move in the away. making. Dangerous looking attack. And a fine tackle. This could be it. And they just let his opponent glide by. Opportunity! Crucial intervention no, just then, and made impending danger. danger. Yeah, Played into the centre of the box. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Martin Hongla. Sice with it. Can I help? Johnny. Then Donker. Over the touchline for a throw in. Martin Hongla. Just a quick reminder we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Wolves facing Manchester City. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute belter, Derek. Well, that ball looks promising. Oh, tremendous block. Townsend. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Ezzy. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Shot attempted. Simple save, really. And news, and news of a goal at Anfield. Here's Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Liverpool. It's been scored by Roberto Firmino. He's met a layback first time and hit an unstoppable shot into the top corner from 25 yards. 74 minutes played. 3 1. Many thanks, Alan. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Crystal Palace facing Arsenal. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek, and that should be an absolute belter. Wolves are really controlling possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the one. Oh, he saved it well. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can the players do theirs? They need an equaliser. Oh, I bought they took me off. Bro, where is it me off? Oh my god, they took me off with me too bloody one all. Oh my bloody lord. F's in the chat. Oh, that's it. Oh. Well, that's it for FIFA today guys, we'll play some FIFA tomorrow and 
we will play some Apex now. I just need to take a take a quick break and yeah. Catch you later. Catch you in a minute, actually. <laughs> <laughs> 